Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary in Brisbane, Australia. Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary is an 18 hectare, 44 acre, koala sanctuary in the Brisbane suburb of Fig Tree Pocket in Queensland, Australia. Founded in 1927, it is the world's oldest and largest koala sanctuary. The name originates from a lone hoop pine that was planted by the Clarkson family, the first owners of the 4.6 hectare, 11 acre, site. The sanctuary opened in 1927 to provide a safe refuge to sick, injured, and orphaned koalas, at a time when they were being killed for their fur. The founder of the sanctuary, Claude Reed, recognized the need to protect this iconic species and initiated the protection of their habitat. The sanctuary began with two koalas called Jack and Jill. Lone Pine became known internationally during World War II when Americans, including Douglas MacArthur's wife, visited the park to view the native Australian animals. 1. World's Oldest and Largest Koala Sanctuary the year 1927 was pivotal for koalas in southeast Queensland. It was the year that legislation finally made the koala a protected species stopping them being hunted for their fur. It was also the year Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, a world first, opened in Fig Tree Pocket alongside the Brisbane River. The first two guests of the sanctuary, named Jack and Jill, were joined by many others over the years. It's now the largest sanctuary of its kind providing a home and protection to around 130 koala, many of them born within the sanctuary. 2. Cuddle a koala. Koala are adorable. There's really no debate that these guys are high on the cuteness scale. Lone pine koalas are born in captivity following tight controls to maintain genetic diversity in the species. This means that they're used to humans being close to them and together with their naturally placid nature they don't seem to mind being held. At Lone Pine everyone can hold a koala if they want to and are willing to wait in the line. Holding the koala is a free experience included in the entry cost, however if you want to take photos you must also buy a professional photo. Have you held or touched a koala? Despite their cute and cuddly appearance they actually have quite coarse fur and aren't nearly as soft and fluffy as they look. Koala welfare is a big consideration throughout the sanctuary. No koala is held for more than 30 minutes a day and the staff are never far away. These koalas have been around their human carers most of their life and are regularly handled. Never attempt to approach or touch a wild koala and if you come across a sick or injured animal in the wild or suburban areas call the RSPCA on 1300 animal they will put you in touch with registered koala rescue and care teams. 3. Chill out with the free roaming kangaroos. The Kanagru reserve area is really popular with all ages. Enter through the control gates and into this free range reserve where you can walk among the kangaroos and emus. With five acres to hop around in there's a good amount of space to spread out. Find your own kangaroo to feed, pat, photograph or even take that selfie of you and your new kangaroo BFF. You can buy kangaroo food at the general store near the entrance but these pellets are the only food that should be given to them. 4. Gorgeous Riverside Location The reserve is built on land right on the Brisbane River. It's a great outlook and if you have some time before of after your visit you can take a seat in the terraced seating area at the cafe and enjoy this great view. Right next door there's a fun kids play area that's fully fenced so they can play safely while you enjoy your cuppa. The cafe area has Wi-Fi available and power points for recharging. It's a shame it's not a little closer to home or this would definitely be my new blogging cafe come summertime with the river breeze and shade from the overhanging trees. 5. Get up close and learn about Australian wildlife. Although the origin of the Lone Pine Koala Reserve was all about the koala and it's the predominant species at the sanctuary it's not all you'll find here. A wide range of Australian animals have been added to the displays over the years starting with platypus in 1974 and increasing to include bats, dingoes, snakes, 
lizards, turtles, freshwater crocodile, kangaroos, wombats, and a wide range of birds. They have one of the best Tasmanian devil enclosures we've seen at any of the parks. You can view it from a variety of different angles and the animals seem particularly active and happy. The sanctuary has 14 seas ions that run throughout the day from 9.45 m until 4 p.m. where you can get up close to and or, or learn about the wildlife. The free flight raptor show is excellent featuring Australian birds of prey up behind the Conagru Reserve. Down at the main koala enclosure get in early for a seat at the wildlife encounter, koala and snake presentations. These were both informative and an opportunity to get up really close with the animals. 6. Feed the lorikeets. Twice a day at 9.45 m and at 4 p.m. you can head down to the river's edge and feed the rainbow and scaly-breasted lorikeets with a special prepared nectar mix. These birds are extremely common in Brisbane but are so pretty and social that you don't want to miss seeing them up close. Take a bowl and collect your own flock but be prepared that they do like to jump around and may prefer to sit on your head or arms. If you don't want to get that up close and personal with the birds just stay a couple of steps away from the food bowls. 7. Watch the world's fastest animal in action. Did you think the cheetah was the fastest animal on earth? I know I used to but while he can run at an incredible 120 km an hour the peregrine falcon will leave him in the dust diving at up to 389 km an hour. They're a powerful bird and skilled hunter, they're also one of the most widely distributed birds around the world found on most continents and island groups except Antarctica and New Zealand. The Free Flight Raptor Show includes a range of other rescued birds found in Australia including the Brahmini Kite, Barn Owl, Barking Owl, and Huge Wedgetail Eagle. 8. Easy Access for Locals and Visitors Lone Pine is the only wildlife park of its type within Brisbane and its location makes it very easy to access not only for those with their own transport but for visitors staying in the city. If you are driving it's about 15 minutes from the city and there is plenty of free on-site parking available. For those using public transport you have a couple of options, bus, or ferry. You can take the bus 430 or 445 from the city, it takes around 40 minutes and you get off at stop 42 in Fig Tree Pocket. Alternatively Miramar Cruises run a daily trip from the pontoon outside the Cultural Center in South Bank at 10 a.m. 9. Free Wi-Fi and Open Air Blogger Lounges If you're a heavy social media user or just want to sit for a few minutes and recharge, both you and your phone, there are several of these blogger lounges scattered around the park. Complete with power and USB recharging points, tables, and free Wi-Fi what more could the traveling blogger ask for? 10. Movie and Market Night An added bonus of heading out here on a Friday is the chance to wander through the produce and food market. It starts at 3 p.m. and runs through to 7.30 p.m. Pick up something for tea from the range of market options and enjoy it in the beautiful cafe seating area overlooking the river. Bring the kids for takeout and movie night and watch the movie on one of the three open-air screens from 6 p.m. There is plenty of parking and entry to the markets and movie is free. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.